Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. My soft and sweet summer manicure has already grown out and is ready to be freshened up. And though this design was for summer, if you guys would still like to see how I completed it, let me know down in the comment section below. Well, today's video is going to be super interesting because not only will I be switching to a stunning autumn-inspired design in beautiful colors, but I also have an unboxing for you guys from Melody Susie. It's going to be super fun and I cannot wait to share everything with you guys. So let's get straight to work and remove the prior coating. Now that I've removed the prior coating with my nail drill, I'm taking a nail file and filing the tips of my nails. I'm also slightly lifting the sides. And when buffing the top of my nail, I'll also be using the nail file and not a buffer. The nail file works great for this, it smooths out that transition between the leftover product and the natural nail, and also lifts away any flakes from our nail, which is super important for proper adhesion of the new product. Now to clean up the cuticle area with my nail drill and then carefully snip off the cuticle with a pair of sharp cuticle scissors. We are getting closer and closer to our design, but first I'll need to dehydrate my nails, apply a primer, and a base coat. Now to let the base coat cure underneath the lamp, but not just any lamp. This stylish new lamp for Melody Susie, like many of their other products, is wireless. And not only that, but this lamp has both LED lights and UV, two in one. The neck of this lamp is nice and flexible and stays nice and secure after being adjusted. At the base of the lamp, we have a switch for the LEDs if you just want lighting. And at the head, a convenient button that simply needs to be tapped in order to switch to the UV light. There are six LED lights and three UV lights. Three UV lights may not be enough to fully cure an entire nail and gel, but for moments like intermediate curing, attaching small elements with product, or attaching nail tips with gel, this lamp really comes in handy. I tested the UV light with a few different things, and the cure time is so quick. I really was so impressed by the quality of this lamp, and I will definitely be using it with my clients. For anyone who is interested, I'm leaving a link down below in the description box for Melody Susie's website along with a direct link for this 2-in-1 lamp. Now back to my nails, which will need a little help with shaping. These broken corners will need to be fixed, and for that I'll be using poly gel.
and then to let this now cure underneath my new and amazing lamp. And after only a few seconds under the UV lamp, everything has cured beautifully. Now I can shape the snow with my nail file and go over everything in a base coat. Now for a turn that you probably weren't expecting, a top coat. This top coat is essential for today's design, and I'm applying this in a thin layer. And now for some bubbles. Yes, you heard me correctly, bubbles. This foam was made quickly with a little dish soap and water, that's all. And I've actually done this technique before and shared it with all of you on my channel. This technique is super easy and the result is incredible. Over the wet top coat, I'm plopping on some bubbles and then taking my new lamp and curing the base coat. I tested a few ideas and I loved this minimalistic look with some small beads and stickers. However, the design I'll be doing on my own nails will be a mix of minimalism and some eye-catching chrome powder. And just look at how gorgeous this effect is. The texture from the foam gives such an interesting and unique look. Further, I'm cleaning up the sides with my nail file and then sealing everything in a top coat. I decided to go for this super deep red. I think this color is going to really complement the chrome powder. It's also such a pretty and rich color for autumn. I really love it. I also tested this lamp when curing the gel polish. If the gel polish is coated in a thin layer, this lamp does an incredible job of curing it. The LED light really came in handy while coating my nail. I was able to see everything nicely, and then I simply switched on the UV light to cure everything. After two layers of the cured gel polish, I'm coating my nail in a non-white glossy top coat. I'm applying the top coat in a thin layer and letting it cure underneath the UV light for about 40 to 60 seconds.
And on my thumbnail, I decided to incorporate the same design and have the beautiful chrome powder peek through this gorgeous burgundy. After everything has cured, I'm removing the sticky layer. I then decided to highlight the accent nail even more and create a delicate frame around my nail in the same burgundy gel polish. And after the gel polish has cured underneath the lamp, I'm sealing everything in a final glossy top coat. I love the way this design turned out. It's so elegant and simple, yet still has some artsy elements. And what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you liked today's video and found it helpful, then please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And until next time.